Good morning. Good morning, kitty kitties. Let's be nice. Everyone's getting food. Ooh, it's a stretchy boy. <laughs> Daryl wants to throw himself on the floor. But he's nervous. That's not this we're being No, that's not nice. No, we were being nice. <laughs> that's not nice. Sorry, Daryl. <laughs> oh bunker. Breakfast is served. Okay, Panda, I'm going to walk away. Don't worry. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Hi, Betty. Loki. Thor doesn't really love this grain with the rice in it. <laughs> it's so bizarre, but he just does it. Hi, Rona. Okay, I'm so sorry. Too close for Rona. Hi, Daryl. Good morning. Good morning. He said maybe he'll come in here. <laughs> Hello, friends. I am out on poo duty. Since everyone's been hanging out in the lean-to here, just cleaning it out. As you see, I'm back in a beanie and a coat because it's chilly again. <laughs> Spring comes for just a bit and then it leaves. But everyone's just hanging out. Betty keeps mooing at me, it's so funny. I think she wants me to go get a brush and brush her. And Thor's just hanging out, took up that whole lean-to right there. dinner time. <laughs> Thor's got some treats and the sheep want those treats so bad. I'm gonna go give me some grain. It's raining again. Oh, I hear some thunder. I hear it. I hear it, Maple. I hear it. We got some soggy sheep. Um, but we think they're getting sheared uh, next week. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Panda, you ready for a haircut? We should keep the hair on your head though because it is magnificent. Look at that hair. Panda, I've never seen better hair in my life. It's so good. Hey friends, good afternoon. Sorry we've been a little MIA all morning. We had a bit of a, a scare with Thor. Um, he last night uh, was struggling to walk and um, it was not good. So we hurried him up into the barn where we could get him closed off here into, we built a little stall around here. It took us a really long time to actually get him up be into this barn area because he could barely walk. So we have been tending to him all night, all morning long. Um, we had a call into our vet. We have a fabulous vet. Um, so he just left here and he thinks that Thor might just have um, the starting of hoof rot because the ground has been so wet and so soggy. So he got treated, he um, is on some anti-inflammatories because it hurts him to walk, and um, some antibiotics. Yeah? Yes. Is that what he gave him? I'm asking it to him. And um, he's up here in some dry stalls, and so we were a bit panicked all morning long, and um, that's why I wasn't making any video. But he's up here. He's getting very pampered very very spoiled we thought the worst because he could barely walk so you know when you um you start looking up all of the symptoms and it's all the worst things <laughs> ever 
And so we just haven't really left his side all night, all morning. Um, just worried that it was going to be terrible, but he has not got his mouth is foamy because he's had a bunch of treats and some medicine. <laughs> um, but our vet came through and, um, he assured us that our thoughts on what we thought it was the worst of the worst is not it. And he thinks it's just hoof rot from the sogginess which makes a ton of sense because you guys have seen our ground, the clay mud and how it hasn't stopped raining. And then we had to flood irrigate. And so, <laughs> and so it's been, um, it's been just wet. And he said it, that's fairly common when the ground has just been so soggy wet. So Thor is staying up in his own little two bedroom apartment up here because he closed off two stalls. He's going to stay up here for the next day or so while the ground dries out and his medicines um, help him feel a little better. But it's pretty scary when your 1200 pound bull can barely walk and you're afraid that he's going to fall over any minute because uh, he's not like a dog. Can't just pick him up and move him. <laughs> but, but you guys, the ease, he, bless you. He's doing... Um, he is doing better. He hasn't gotten any work. And now that he got his, his medicine and his treats and everything like that, he will be on the up and up. And we will be cleaning out his little muddy feet and uh, just keeping them in these dry um, barn stalls here. Which he doesn't mind because he's got his own food. He's got his own water. And you know how much he loves fresh bedding. And so both stalls have been just packed full of straw, super dry straw. So he's been hanging out in there and loving um, the attention that he's getting. Come on, buddy. Want to get brushed? Come on. Come here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go, buddy. Come on, a couple more steps. Come on, bud. Hi, Bunker. Did you already eat your dinner? Yes, you did. You did. Daryl, did you already eat your dinner? Did you? He's a good boy. I'm gonna go check on Thor. He was just eating a bit ago. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hi, Duchess. Checking on Thor. Hi, big boy. He does not want to be in here anymore. But he's definitely feeling better. Look at that. Before, he didn't even want to take a step. We're trying to cover the ground as much as possible with wood chips and everything we got to try to keep it dry. This is just wet from the rain. This doesn't get flood irrigated up here. This is always dry, but it was raining all day yesterday and we have more rain coming. So unfortunately we can't stop the wetness in this pasture area, but we are trying to make it as dry as possible right here. Inside the barn stalls are super dry. And so uh, that should be good for his sweet feet. And he lets us clean his feet for him. So we are making sure. So even though he's got some mud in there, we uh, keep going in there to clean out his feet. But he's doing way better than he was last night. And he's eating a lot and drinking and... Um, so he's on the up and up, but he'll be in here all night tonight and then maybe sometime tomorrow. We will keep an eye on everybody else and uh, to see if they show any signs of uncomfortable feet, but we aren't flood irrigating anymore. The big puddles of water are not there. They dry up fairly quick. And uh, so, and everyone's been doing really good. They hang out up here 
most of the night anyways next to Thor. And uh, the doctor gave us some extra meds just in case somebody shows signs of it. We could jump on it fairly quick. But everyone's doing good, right Betty? Right Betty Cal? One to two of the sheep get hoof rot um, every winter. That is very common for them and their little feet. And honestly, there's nothing we can do. The, we have really wet and rainy um, winters and um, their feet just get wet. So we're used to treating that in the, in the sheep, but none of the crew has ever had it. And uh, now we know. And this all stays dry. This none of this is flood irrigated. So unless it's raining, um, this is always the dry area, and everybody does hang out up here a lot of the times. But the issue here, more than anything, is they all, all of the animals funnel through that area right there. And so I mean, 12 sheep. At one point, there were six cows walking through a eight foot opening. And so it doesn't seem to matter what we put there, it gets mucky and it stays wet in the winter weather. Good boy, Thor. Good boy, Thor. Got it. Got a good boy, Thor. He's such a good boy. Yeah, these gloves are dirty now. <laughs> He's so good. He lifts his feet when they need to be cleaned up. Oh, Betty's got the crazies back there. Oh, Loki now too. <laughs> Betty started this madness. She started running out here as fast as she could. Rona's walking as fast as she can. <laughs> oh, he's thinking about going to get Rona. trying to play with anybody. Hey, gonna stop and have something to eat. That was so funny. It's fun. It is a real cold breeze coming through right now. Good morning. Come on, let's go get some breakfast, everybody. Come on. Raining again all night. <laughs> it's so soggy. We're gonna go check on Thor. We got a camera on him and we can watch, he's doing really good. 
I bet you he's hungry. Ready for some more hay. Good morning, big boy. How are you doing? Of course, you're standing out there in the wetness rather than in here in the dry ground. I see you still. You're hiding. All right, he's moving. He's moving. He just wants to be out there with everybody. We're trying to convince him to stay in these stalls with his food. He's being a good boy. You can see that he's walking better too. Just a shame that it's still raining out there. I'm hoping that we could dry up just a little bit. Do you want to? Oh. Are you ready to go out, Thor? Let Thor out. He needs to get into the sun. Look at freedom, little mister. You can come out now. Everybody's in the pasture. Come on, big boy. He's walking so much better than he was. And as you can see, that part over there is still pretty wet when this part over here that the sun is in is drying better. So it's best for him to be out here. Come on, buddy. Want to go out to the green? Everyone's out there. Want to go out there? Haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> Taking it all in. Well, he missed his brushy brush. Did it so bad. <laughs> you miss your brushy. <laughs> a good butt scratching too. <laughs> the sun is finally out. Everyone's enjoying the green pasture and the sun, aren't you, Rona? Finally. Some sunshine. Looking beautiful as always, Rona. Hi, Izzy. Enjoying yourself in the sun? Hi, Clementine. Sun's out, you loving it? Are you loving it, Betty? Hmm? Thought I was sneaking up with fly spray, didn't ya? I wasn't. Do you see Thor? Rona's looking over at him. Making his way, slowly but surely out here. He's not walking 100% speed, but he is walking better. Do you see him, Rona? <laughs> you 
We gonna get him, Rona. Go get him. <laughs> He's telling Thor, come on. He's right there at the fence. <laughs> Thor says, move it. Move it, Rona. Oh. <laughs> Or aggressive hugging. <laughs> Did you miss him, Rona? Now you're all frustrated. You have to move. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you guys are going to stand there and mingle? No, Thor says move it. <laughs> I think Rona likes it. Because it feels like someone's like brushing her. You guys are ridiculous. believe he was gone for so many days he wasn't really gone you got to see him actually slept up there where he was are you just happy he's not locked up anymore all right he's back out here crunching and munching he's doing good his feet will actually get a little more clean being out here wiping on the grass rather than the mud up front so now we're gonna go set up the neighbor's pasture and get it all um, roped off to let the moo crew in there soon. Look at these two aggressive lovebirds. We're over here in the neighbor's pasture, hooking this up. <laughs> they want they want to come in here so bad. You guys gotta oh. Well, maybe we should all go in because there's thunder and lightning now. You two. We gotta wait. We gotta get it all hooked up. It's a downpour, everybody. Go get under shelter. You guys, come on. Silly, silly babies. I think it's gonna pass fairly quick. Oh, did you see that, you guys? Did you see it? That was a great one.
Well, Thor did make it out to the pasture. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and then he's like, ah, never mind. Too wet. Going back in. It is still coming down good. But the sun is out. You know that means a rainbow is coming. But there's still a really heavy part of the storm right here above us. Some good lightning. That's for sure. Okay, here comes the sun. And there goes the storm. So the rainbow's coming. Good morning. I'm coming out here on the bird bath fell over. Coming to you, show you guys how Thor's doing. He's doing so much better. He's been out here grazing all morning, walking around with everybody. Now he's chewing his cud. Hi, big boy. <laughs> Hi, Loki. But he's doing really well. Still seems like it's a little sensitive for him to walk, but not at all what it was, which means he's on the mend. Hi, big boy. Your feet look so much cleaner out here on the pasture, too. It's like he's getting his feet cleaned as he walks around because the rain had wet the grass, and then as he's walking, it's just cleaning his feet. So it's much better for him to be walking around out here than stuck up in the barn but goodness you scared us so much Thor so good to see him out here while we're out here let's go check on all the potatoes and things the, these potatoes are doing fabulous the grass is growing like crazy because of this rain <laughs> Crab apples are opening. Oh, these are my favorite. They're so beautiful. I have crab apples planted all over this property because they are one of my favorites. Let's check on the girls. Hi, Rona. Good morning. They love when they don't have to wait for us for food and they are on full grazing pasture. And they can eat whenever they want. The plan is this week we're gonna get them over grazing in the neighbor's pasture and then the sheep will have this pasture exclusively. So it kind of spreads out the eating. So this pasture lasts a little bit longer 